Hey everyone, today we're going to have a look at how to make those OneNote pages a little bit more visually appealing by adding interactive content. Alright, so before we get stuck into this one, don't forget if you like what we do, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Click the little bell if you want to be notified when we put up new content just like this. Okay, so here's my OneNote page. It's actually starting to look pretty cool. We've embedded some techniques that we already know about to make pages nice and visually appealing. OneNote, I'll put the link to, to this in the description for you, but they do have a list of what is currently available to be embedded onto a OneNote page. And you can see here, there's quite a comprehensive lists. Some of them are already Microsoft products and some of them are third party products. So we're going to start by doing one of my favorites. So here in this first cell, this is kind of like a standard template that I might use with my class. Instead of putting maybe a worded description here, I actually want to put the PowerPoint content in for the students to look at. So what I want to do is I want to take this PowerPoint and I want to share with my students. Now at the moment it's in my OneDrive and it's private, so I need to make it shared. So to do that, we come up and we click here on the little share icon. When I do that, I have this opportunity to go copy link. That link I don't really need, but essentially what it does is that it changes it from a private document. You can see there that this is now shared. So what's really important is not to copy that link, is to come here and to open up the PowerPoint itself. I then want to grab the URL at the top. I'm going to choose to copy that. And then I'm going to move back to my OneNote. And here in this first cell is where I'm going to put my first interactive piece of content. So I'm going to go paste. I'm going to give it a second. And here it comes. My PowerPoint is going to start to embed this little link here will take the students back to where it lives in OneDrive. We're gonna get rid of that. Um, I don't normally like to, to leave it there. I just kind of like to have the PowerPoint embedded on the page. So there's our PowerPoint embedded. It's like a click through here. So they can't write or type over the top of it, but you can see that in this instance where I'm using a note-taking template like this, this kind of forms a really perfect environment for this type of interactive content. Let's have a look at my second one. So my second one is one of the classics is embedding video content. And Microsoft do enable quite a few video content to be embedded onto OneNote pages. We're gonna go with the classic. We're gonna go with YouTube. So here we are on my YouTube page. I really like this video. I've taken the time to watch it. I think this is going to be perfect. I'm going to show you something pretty cool here that some people don't know about is that let's say I don't want all of this kind of introductory stuff at the beginning. I don't want this part here and I kind of want maybe from there. On YouTube, you actually have this option to stop where you are at and then come down here to where the share button is. And then you can click this little guy here and it says start at 20 seconds. Now, if I copy this URL, what I then do is I come back here to my OneNote page and we're going to paste that in. And then essentially, just like before, I can get rid of that link as well. I can choose to resize things if I want to make them a bit bigger, a bit smaller. So my next favorite thing to embed uh, forms from Microsoft Forms themselves. In this case, this form is going to be a little bit like a reflection or a feedback for myself. So I'm here in Microsoft Forms. I've created this quick little three question check-in on fractions and I want to embed that on the page because I want my students to complete it. So what I do is I come up here to the right hand corner and I'm going to click on share and then I'm going to copy the URL for this form. Then back here, in my OneNote, just like before, I'm going to hit paste. We're going to give that a second and that form is going to load. But what else could I embed as ideas to make my pages look interactive? Sometimes I might have things like this, additional support and resources. So let's look at embedding something maybe like a wakelet. So here I found this wakelet, you know, it's got some good ideas about fractions. It might act as a really useful resource for students. 
So again, just like this wakelet, I'm going to copy the URL. And then back here in my OneNote, I'm gonna paste that wakelet in. From there, I might space that out a little bit just so it fits that page a little bit better. Can get rid of this link just like we've done before with the others. But what's really nice about this is you can kind of see how it's embedded on the page, almost like a website. And my last one that I'm gonna show you is probably one of my favorites and I'm gonna call it study music. So here I am on SoundCloud. There are other streaming services that will work as well. I've had to listen to this music. It's fine. I think it's good. Some nice, calm study music for students to have on in the background if they want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to copy the link to this playlist. I'm going to come back and I'm going to click here in my little cell for my additional support and resources. And there it is there. Now students can click on this, it will load and that album that's attached to that or the song maybe that is attached will play. So there it is guys, there are some of my favorite ways to embed interactive content to make my pages really come to life in OneNote. Also, if you're after more videos on how to make your pages more visually appealing, make sure you click this link to see what else we have to help you out.